It's no secret that the Big 12 is considered to be a strong offensive conference, making the work of a defense that much more important, especially for the guys who come directly face to face with those offenses, the defensive linemen. Texas Tech's 2022 defensive line is favorable to be a deep group under the direction of new position coach Zarnell Fitch. And leading that pack again this year are seniors Tony Bradford and Jalen Hutchings, who had his best season to date in 2021 leading the D-line in total tackles. And as a duo, the two combined 37 solo tackles on the season. The Big 12, that is ranked ninth this year uh, coming out. And that's just, that's not where we want to be at all. It's just a ranking. So we take that to heart and um, build up on it. You know what I'm saying? People don't think much about us and we're going to prove them wrong. There were also some new faces added to the defensive line this season, the first of those being Red Raider track and field star Gabe Oladipo, who decided to give football a try after exhausting his track and field eligibility in June. In addition, freshman four-star Joseph Adetere has been on defensive coordinator Tim DeRuiter's watch list for a while now, saying Adetere exhibits the mental and physical toughness that a defensive lineman needs. And while some may question the youth of this group as a whole, the size and strength of these new guys are sure to add some grit to this already tough room. We've got a fairly solid about one and a half deep uh, and we've got some new guys that have joined us this summer, uh, both freshmen and transfers, and they're going to have opportunities to get in that two deep. But I, I like, you know, like I said, that first one and a half, I think, I think we've got some guys that can play. We've got a good start on it. Speaking of Texas Tech football, with practice number six under their belts going into number seven tomorrow morning and their first scrimmage of the preseason this weekend, these Red Raiders do not seem to miss a step when it comes to momentum. And the closer we get to the upcoming season, the more energy this group seems to bring. While a lot of people think that energy comes from head coach Joey McGuire, he disagrees, saying the players bring it themselves every single day. And these guys, man, they're so hungry. I mean, I, I don't. I, I can think back to 2019 uh, with that Baylor group that came off a bowl win. It's crazy. They were seven and six. They came off a bowl win, and it, it's a lot like us. And the momentum was really heavy going into off season. And you know, you have some really strong leaders. And um, I, I tell you, it's them. You know, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to try to give as much energy as I can. And hope they feed off of me, but. You know, you got to bring your own energy to practice, and they, they're really doing it. We've got some really strong leaders on this team that are doing it. 